Hello dog lovers and YouTube dwellers. Welcome to my video guys. Guys, uh, today's video is what I think about cropping and docking. Uh, you know, cropping the ears of a puppy and docking the tail of a puppy. Uh, which is common in certain breeds uh, like in uh, a Doberman Pinscher. And uh, many countries now are, are, are banning cropping and docking, you know. And still allowed in many other countries. There are many uh, many uh, animal activists who uh, who are against it, and there are many working dog breeders who are for it. So, uh, very briefly, let me just discuss: Should you crop and dog? Okay. When it comes to bully kutta, uh, many uh, uh, many puppies are cropped. They don't dog the tail; they crop uh, the ears. And the reason they crop is because they primarily use this for fighting. What happens in a, in, a, in a combat environment is if you have long ears then it's something for the other dog to hold to hold on to and that can cause a, a lot of uh, that can cause the ear to tear off uh, a, a lot of pain for the dog because it's cartilage and uh, so what they do is they, they cut it short and not only short really really short so it's it's there's hardly anything to hold on to for uh, for the, the other dog. Now, why do you crop and dock uh, a puppy? Let us say it's uh, uh, let us let us take a Doberman for example, right? The tail of a Doberman is extremely slim and bony. Now, where is a Doberman used? It is not used on a farmland. It's you know. Uh, uh, a Doberman is a protection, personal protection dog. That's its history. The, uh, a German tax collector was the one who developed uh, that breed uh, be because uh, when he used to go collect taxes, certainly uh, particularly from certain anti-social elements, uh, they would get very aggressive. And they had their dogs as well. And they, uh, you know, he wanted to make sure that he was protected against their aggression and their dog aggressions and, and whatnot. So he developed this dog and he did a great job. Uh, Doberman's a great dog, at least the old ones were. And uh, when, so, traditionally a Doberman's ears were cropped and the tail was docked. The ears were cropped, like I said, because in case it got into a situation where another dog attacked, then you don't want those ears to be uh, 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 an object of, uh, uh, as, uh, something that can be grabbed easily, you know, an object that can be grabbed. In a combat, which which is not good, you know, it can you, it, it, the ears can be easily torn off. Uh, so, mm. then second thing, of course, is uh, the docking of a tail. Why would you dock a tail? Let's say, uh, like I said, the Doberman is a personal protection dog. So the dog is like a Velcro, right? Those are called Velcro dogs. It likes to be with humans. It likes to stick with humans. Wherever a human would go, the dog goes. In that scenario, the dog would also be inside a uh, inside inside that person's home, and inside a home usually it's cramped. You got furniture, you got uh, you you got doors, and you got you got you got sharp edges, you know, uh, around the staircase. So when a dog is gonna when a dog uh, with a dog like a Doberman, if it's gonna be wagging its tail, where its its tail is so bony and slender and actually weak. Uh, it can easily fracture the tail, you know, with, with that vigorous wag, because the tail is going to keep hitting around. It, it's going to be living in a cramped space, you know. Uh, and when that, when a, when a bony tail uh, is going to be constantly hitting around sharp edges, it's going to fracture. It's going to break, and it's going to be painful for the dog. And this is the reason for for dogs like Doberman, where they are very close to humans, uh, they're, they're the human masters, and uh, their tails are. Uh, so bony and slim, uh, they dock it, you know. And one thing about docking a tail is this. First, uh, four days or a week after a puppy is born, the nerve endings are, have not yet even um, uh, uh, gone, to, gone through the tail. You know, there are no nerve endings. So within the first three days or, three days or so, uh, they actually can dock a tail uh, without even giving anesthesia because the puppy won't feel any pain. There are no nerve endings that have been that have developed yet. Once a puppy is after, uh, you know, after three months, once a puppy is more than three months, the tail 
becomes part of the spine you know the nerve endings in the spine are also extended to the tail so obviously it's not you you never you it's not ideal to dock a tail after three months it's never done uh, well i don't know if it's never done let me rephrase that it is not ideal to do it you know you shouldn't be doing it uh, if you've not done it within three months if it's over three months better not to do you know not to dock a tail because it's now part of the spine um, before three months the tail is still not part of the spine the nerves would have developed after three days or a week after the puppy is born but they're not yet uh, part of the spine you know so this is the whole uh, idea so now imagine a tail which is part of the spine and it's inside it's too bony and too weak and you are inside your home and the tail uh, the dog wags its tail and then fractures its tail and let me tell you this is a reality many dobermans without uh, uh, without the tails being docked uh, fracture the tails very easily uh, when especially when they uh, when the tail uh, uh, hits against sharp objects so um that's one reason for such those kind of dogs for the tails to be uh, to, uh, to to be docked and uh, remember dobermans are not used for hunting you know so the tail is of no use in terms of uh, he helping them steer now for a dog uh, for hounds you know or, or for dogs like let's say my 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 my, my boy prince over here um, traditionally he doesn't live in apartments uh, and his his tail is not bony either he's got a very strong tail you know extremely thick at the base starts tapering down of course towards the end it's a long tail the tail uh, um, goes 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 well below the, the joint over here when he stands and um, uh, that tail because he's such an uh, once he grows up this breed is, uh, uh, is is a great runner is very athletic uh, that tail helps steer uh, you know helps steer the dog you know helps the dog in its agility it's the same case with 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 hound let's say if it's a gray hound or if, it, or if it's a uh, 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 you know if it's any other hound or any other hunting dog you know for any hunting dog that tail is very important because uh, um, you know hunting dog of medium game, uh, medium sized game or even rabbits for example you know rabbits can really really turn quick and really fast you know they can turn on a dime and the dog has to do that if the dog has to do that then that tail helps the dog you know it acts as a rudder to turn okay that's one thing so now why uh, what about cropping cropping is this if you are going to use the if that dog is used in hunting medium to large game or in uh, dog fighting unfortunately then that uh, ear those ears need to be cropped okay uh, in a hunting scenario let's say uh, uh, like a dog like a dog or argentino right which which is primarily used for uh, hunting wild boar and protection against pumas in in its home country well you crop the you know cropping is essential because that wild boar can easily grab hold of the ear right and uh, 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 or the puma can easily grab hold of that ear and tear it off which is uh, uh, which is not good for the dog obviously and also um, dogs that hunt in extremely wooded woody environments extremely thorny bushy environments those ears can get caught up in thorns in the bushes you know so then obviously it becomes essential so uh, my whole point is what are you going to use a dog for if you're going to be using the dog uh, for any kind of hunting uh, or sport activity uh, which involves the dog going into very thick thorny bushes etc uh, and hopefully not uh, dog fighting but if you are then that those years will need to be cropped uh, it's that's what is best for the dog again uh, uh, when it's a puppy uh, it's it's for the most part for the puppy it's a painless uh, uh, um, uh, procedure but as a puppy grows of course then uh, then it's a different uh, different matter um i have personally not uh, uh cropped the ears on my prints uh docking of course you don't dock for this breed anyway uh, but i have not cropped because uh, i don't intend to use him for any hunt <laughs> or uh, certainly not for uh, not for any kind of uh, uh, combat sport uh, uh, at all at all so uh, this is uh, this is I'm I'm very I was very clear about that. Uh, my prince uh, 
here uh, has a job to do and that job is to guard uh, guard my property guard guard my family and uh, you certainly uh, you wouldn't need a uh, uh, to to crop your uh, crop the ears of your puppy to uh, to do to do that um, so do i advocate uh, cropping and docking well it depends on what the job is for that for the for the dog breed that you're getting if you're going to be getting the dog for for uh, for hunting activities and things like that yeah definitely yeah you have to you have to crop because that's what's best for the best for the dog if you're getting a doberman and that doberman is going to be living inside uh, your your apartment and uh, you're using that as a personal protection dog uh, uh, which is its which was the original purpose uh, for which it was intended uh, intended for and bred for well yeah definitely you crop it uh, i mean you do, you dog the tail you dog the tail because and you do it within the first uh, 3 or 4 days because you don't even have nerve endings by the time it's it's, it's perfectly fine um so but if there's no purpose for it uh, 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 you know uh, if you have a dog or argentino but you're not going to be using f for its intended purpose uh, and you want to do these things purely for an aesthetic value uh, well well then it depends you know um, beauty is in the eye of the beholder as they say correct for me, I like my my boy the way he is. You know, I like the way he looks. I like I like those years, those long years, and uh, it, that's fine with me. But with some people, if they want, you know, pure aesthetic values, or if if they are using the dog uh, for uh, for uh, in the ring for show purposes and things like that, where it's it's part of the breed standard, as they say, uh, then yeah, I think uh, they can they can go for it. But uh, in my case, it's that's, that's not really. Uh, uh, necessary and uh, I like my boy the way he is and uh, I don't really uh, uh, have any need to uh, to uh, uh, to crop his ears at this point of time uh, having said that there's one thing that I should point out the the droopy ears is part of the domestication of the dog you know in the wild you don't have droopy ears <laughs> you have erect ears and uh, uh, erect ears are better because you can avoid uh, infections you know ear infections and things like that because uh, the, the droopy ears will start holding you know uh, st start get getting uh, sedimentation and uh, of 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 of, uh, uh, of of dirt and stuff like that more easily which which can um, harbor pathogens which will lead to infections in the ear and things like that so yeah so uh, again if you are going to be using your dog uh, in in a in a rural uh, environment where the dog is running around and is swimming in rivers or, or, or in, in ponds uh, and uh, you know or, um, or, or, or is basically in areas which, which are very slushy which, which are all, or, or swamps for example then uh, yeah, better to crop uh, better to crop their ears because that's better for the dog uh, uh, you know there are chances of uh, uh, the dog uh, getting infected uh, in the ear and things like that are, are, are less but if it's purely for the aesthetic purpose I wouldn't do it uh, personally, but um, uh, I think it depends. Honestly, you know, personally, I wouldn't do it. Let's put it that way. So, uh, those are my views, uh, guys, uh, on cropping and docking. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, then uh, guys, uh, thanks for thanks for tuning in. Please do subscribe. So, ciao.